So summarizing, we will oppose the 25 by 25 ballot proposal. We think it's a, it's an incredibly large bet, you know, $10 billion. Again, it's a point estimate. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less. But again, the delta will be also measured in billions. So it's a big number uh, that we lose the ability to, or some ability to manage. We're already making a strong renewable investment, roughly $3 billion. So we're more than committed to the technologies and, and uh, doing the best that we can to integrate those into our portfolio. Renewables versus base load, there's been a lot of discussion around the cost of wind. Is it competitive? Is it is wind saving us money? Um, I'd like to distinguish in general the difference between cost of energy and capacity. So when folks say wind is competitive, what they're saying is on an energy basis, on a dollar or a cent per kilowatt or a dollar per megawatt hour, wind is starting to become similar to natural gas, where natural gas uh, prices are today, which are extremely low. So that's the cost of energy. The other component of that is the capacity cost. So you see these big base load plants, nuclear, gas, coal, they have a capacity associated with them and by law, by, um, by regulation, we have to have a certain amount of that capacity in our portfolio 24-7. Regardless of how much wind, renewables, whatever we have in our portfolio, we need to have 118% the amount of capacity available to us at all times in order 118% of our expected maximum load. So there's a cost to that capacity. So as we're building out renewables into our portfolio, yes, we're getting energy, and yes, it can be competitive from an energy standpoint. We still need to have that underlying capacity in the portfolio that has a cost associated with it. The capacity value of wind is around 11 to 12%. So if you install a 100 megawatt wind farm, you're only gonna get around 10% credit, 10 megawatts for that. If you install a 100 megawatt coal plant, you get a 100 megawatt benefit credit for that coal. So I think it's, a, it's an important thing to distinguish and it's not an easy concept. Um, and I think that's where folks get confused and say, well, wind is competitive with gas. Um, energy, yes. And I strongly believe that we need wind and renewables in our portfolio to diversify that portfolio so we're not relying on any single technology. But it's not an apples to apples comparison. Uh, we think anything going into uh, a constitutional amendment for something this significant is just not, uh, it's an inflexible approach. We think that the legislative approach worked well. Um, all of the right people came to the table at the end of last year and, and had two days worth of dialogue. And the outcome of that was PA 295 is working well. We shouldn't make any changes at this time. And we firmly support that. And I essentially just stated this. Um, we think that we need that broad collaboration to come together if we're going to be talking about increasing this portfolio standard uh, we need to have all the right folks at the table. We can't just have a 300-word document that mandates the legislature and the state to make it happen. It just leaves us open for a lot of ambiguity and, and likely years of negotiating, negotiation, debate, uh, whatever the case may be. So at this point, Doug and I usually take questions, so we'll be happy to do that.